chair, a retirement chair um, that they actually sit in. Um, and so maybe you have a porch or something, or, uh, you know, there's a, there's a chair that you want to own. Um, and so, you know, we just so happen to have a, a chair for it. Do you have one? Yeah, I do. I do have a chair. You have a chair? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we got a retirement chair for you. I think, I think you're going to like this one. Um, this is your retirement chair. So you can think about work, right? When you see this chair. Oh. This is yours, man. Wait, wait, wait. They, they want you to sit in it, all right? Yeah, I can take it home, yeah. Yeah, you can take it home. It's yours, man. It's yours. I, I, need, I need a two chair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to walk out. Walk around with my cat. Yeah, yeah. There you go. You walk around with your cat. And you know what? You can think of Abby and Ben and all the people here that you're going to miss uh, and when you think of that chair. So uh, I actually wanted to give you a, a machine so you could build perch cassettes at home, too, if you got bored. <laughs> Matt wouldn't let me. So uh, I do have one other you gift, say, though. Special shit. Yeah, uh, Percocets. No, not Percocets. <laughs> So, you know, it's, yeah, it doesn't uh, pick it up perfectly. Um, you know, but, but when you put in your, you know, your retirement, I know it's, it's kind of been a little bit back and forth, uh, but, you know, last week you said, you know, this is the real deal. Um, and I had some things you had to get straightened out at home. Um, and so, you know, Oscar and I were sitting in a room together and we said, you know, what, what can we get Jorgen? I mean, 27 years, the guy's working on Perch to set. Uh, he's been a great asset to the company. We got to get him something great, uh, but we don't have a lot of time. And so, you know, we were thinking about it and said, you know, we're, we're manufacturing, right? We have a lot of perch cassettes sitting on the shelf. It's like, well, maybe you'd want a perch cassette. I don't know. Um, you know this way you kind of think of us. Uh, and we said, you know, we got a lot of failures though from the EQT. We, it's not, it's not right to give them a perch cassette that leaks, right? I mean, that's a bad look. You know, the guy's been here for 27 years. Give him a leaking perch cassette. That's terrible. <laughs> so I said, well, what, you know, what do we normally do when we got leaks on the perch cassette? What do we do? You know, here at Abbey Med, you know, we got a policy. If we don't know what to do and it's leaking, we add Skycast. All right, that's been our solution. So I went ahead uh, and I potted this perch cassette here in Skycast. Now, Jorgen, this one's for you, man. It is guaranteed not to leak, okay? I can promise you that. Uh, so you take that to the bank. <laughs> There you go, man. Congratulations. <laughs> All right. I think, uh, Matt, I know you want to say a couple words. Sure, sure. Thanks. So if I speak 
into this. It'll uh, it'll come up here on the screen. Testing, testing. <laughs> All right, that works. So I'm going to speak slow, so Jorgen can read at the same time. Um, who is here for perhaps the greatest Halloween costume in Abiumed's history? Ken, what was that costume? The clean room worm. The clean, you're right. The clean room <laughs> worm. I, I refer to it as the centipede. The centipede, yeah. The centipede. So, if you, so raise your hand if, so if you remember the clean room centipede. Like, okay. All right, just some old people right there. So. <laughs> but who is at the head of the clean room centipede? Jorgen, who is at the head of the clean room centipede? I don't remember when. You, you remember it? Yeah, oh you, yeah. You were the head. I remember you being the head of yeah, the clean yeah. room centipede. So Jorgen will always have the um, honor of, of, of being the head of the best Halloween costume ever. And if you didn't see it, it was pretty remarkable. So Jorgen came in, they had some music going, and everyone else was tucked behind and they were doing the worm, but the music was going and they were all bouncing and they blew everyone else away. And it was really just everyone in their bunny suits coming out uh, and enjoying it. But the fact that the whole clean room did it and Jorgen was at the front of the chain made it extra special. Um, so I'm gonna shift a little and talk a little bit about Jorgen. Um, I've, you know, I, I've come to the conclusion if you have three things, you've probably had a successful career. Uh, the, the first thing is if you have friends at work and by the looks of this room, uh, Jorgen, we can say that you have friends at work. Uh, if you have passion for your work, uh, and Jorgen, I, I hope you, I believe you had passion for your work, uh, that would be the second thing. And then the third thing is to make a difference. You want to make a difference. So I put some numbers together, and I want to share them with you uh, because they're impressive. Uh, if you take 250 pumps a week and pellet pumps a week, and you multiply it by 52 weeks in a year, and we've been, I, I guess we're building about 12 years, that's about 155,000 pumps supporting 155,000 patients roughly. If you take his prior 15 years of making 85,000 in BBS, that roughly 250 pumps a week for 52 weeks, 15 years, that's 200,000. When you add those two up, that's 355,000 patients. But I'm not done. Um, when, you, when you think about every patient, they have a family. So assume for every patient, there are two people that are happy that that patient was treated. Um, that's about 710,000 people. So Jorgen, you can go home uh, retired with the knowledge that you do have purpose. And then when you add it up, roughly, there was 1,065,000 people that you impacted during your career. And I want to thank you for that. <laughs> you can enter your retirement knowing you made an incredible difference. So thank you, York. Yeah, Matt talked a little bit about the team and uh, just, just how important you were to the team. And, uh, you know, the team kind of put their money together and uh, they got you a little something. So um, if you guys want to just bring forward, bring it to, to Jorgen and maybe say a couple things here.
because he walks every day to work. He's not going to be walking to work no more, but we still want him to stay in shape. All right, so. great. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know if he's thanking you or not. Right? <laughs> yeah, I don't think he's going to walk. Can I have all of you guys? Yeah. 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 Congratulations, Jordan. Congratulations. Congratulations. Very nice. 